Uh, I have decided I'm going to BD record uh, one more in respect to uh, this one I'm going to dedicate to his grandfather and I'm going to dedicate one to Mark Boris Andrianic. First of all, when it comes to the grandfather Boris Andrianic, where he refers to as the founder of the company. You know, I think about Mara Andrianic. I think about a sister from Misho Andrianic and Misho Andrianic would come here and they would in front of international people such as British royals and American politicians and they would demand from my mom uh, to acknowledge how they delivered the medications to uh, oftentimes they were using the premises of uh, Andrianic family uh, in the process of building the company and so on, if the mama remembers how the, they didn't have a space and they would take it to them and this and that. Uh, what the fuck moment is this? Uh, in After World War II, there was a denationalization of the property in Slovenia. That means since also Mara Andrianic was from a castle here in uh, in uh, hell it's uh, somewhere around uh, about us something like this before the um, Straja you know uh, I don't know how they say that place there's a castle over there a small castle tiny little castle but it is it's a castle and I heard that she's um, uh, a daughter of one of the Grashchak, a Graf or whatever, something like that. Uh, so they took them away, that property. They took them a lot of properties, but they left them with a the property here in the Novo Mesto. Uh, because of Boris Andrianic, because of his communist activities, because he went on to um, demonstrate himself to society as beneficial. He really was beneficial during the World War II. It's a decorated guy from the World War II. There is no doubt about that. One thing he did right, but he, he was a scumbag. He was a scammer. And beginning 1981, where Josip Broz Tito passed away, a Boris Andrianic became obsessed with the idea to get me killed. And no longer was... Um, was extremely violent but could not afford himself to miss me on a single occasion and when he was told in 1981 uh, to no longer even travel to Belgrade uh, he, with me he would still go uh, and he had to keep the distance away from me because he was deemed as dangerous literally as dangerous um, there is something in this family that it's something that his son Misho Andrianic inherited from his father who also didn't know how to get me killed uh, I think the biggest problem was the fact that I built the company and these people could not cope with that he claimed that it was that I took away from Yugoslavia the um, a peace from them, a comfort for them, talking about the Communist Party leadership, uh, that I was guilty because uh, I, I started to do stuff that it was just inappropriate, etc. I, I was not the one who did it. I was drugged up as a child, beginning the age one year of age they started to use me for this fucking mk ultra to gain financial interests for whatever now this was a voracious son of a bitch who was uh, compared himself to the joze chertalic joze chertalic uh, a small self-employed 
entrepreneur who worked in a metal working. Um, really started out of scratch, but again, using me, he managed to build uh, a considerable size company also. Uh, he, uh, talking about the Boris Andrianich, became mad, uh, stated that if uh, Joža Čertalic, they knew each other, two are friends, all these people are friends, all from the city here, Levichnik, uh, he stated to Joža Čertalic that he would, uh, however, go insane if he would see that Joža Čertalic financially passed him. A Boris Andrianic uh, family, Andrianic family had a tremendous advantages over other people in Yugoslavia. They were considered as a Carringtons of Yugoslavia. Uh, wealthy people, uh, they had their weekends on 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 a shoreline, on the Arctic shoreline in Croatia. Um, they they simply enjoy luxurious lives. They had houses in Ljubljana, in Novo Mesto. Now, there was actually really nothing to complain about. I don't understand. These people are fucking wealthy for nothing, actually, for the work, for the little work they did. Uh, extremely, extremely wealthy, and that work was parasitic work. It was like a parasite, though. They fed themselves like a parasites. That's how this company grew up out of nothing. That's one thing. So, no, I don't remember anything about uh, Andrianich, this and that, but I do remember that most likely stuff was even stolen from uh, Kirka Pharmaceutical, which obtained certain things and sold under the table. Andrianich family would steal and sell under the table even when it comes to the Kirka Pharmaceutical supplies. So I do remember something about this. Uh, the second thing I did not finish about this, Mark Boris Andrianich. He was absorbed with, with, in this city here, he grew up like myself, that his grandfather was a, a, a founder of this company, this big company, and this is a, a, a father, and everything was ours and ours and I, Andrianich. Uh, Moitza, uh, Nates Andrianich, yeah, they all, uh, Mara, uh, sister of Misho, Misho Andrianich, I am Andrianich, I am Andrianich, don't you know, everybody know Andrianich, you piece of matter, everybody know him in Japan, everybody fucking know him. In all this shit, I wasn't worth anything. I did not fucking exist anywhere. I, I did not fucking exist. It literally did not exist. It was because of Misha Andrianich is a violence. Finally. Because it was Levichnik, it was, it was IMEV, Renault. It was Chertalich I already spoke about. And it was Kirka Pharmaceutical. And it was finally that I had nobody in the city of Donovo Mesto. They were going to fucking kill me. Either you leave this fucking place or you're going to be simply killed. That's why I left Slovenia in 1995 after I created, after 1,500 years, Slovenia as an independent nation again. Last time Slovenia was independent was, I think, like in a 600. 700th century, in a 7th century, 6th century, uh, and it, it just happened again when I was born that I, I made Slovenia independent nation, independent country, and for that, they were going to fucking kill me, and I had to immigrate to the United States of America at age 23. This is just a Kirka Pharmaceutical but my story is much bigger than Kirka Pharmaceutical. This is the way it is. That's why Slovenia, Slovenia, uh, Kirka Pharmaceutical, Kirka Pharmaceutical. There was no contribution. 
There was no contribution from Andrianich family to the Kirka Pharmaceutical. He was prohibited because of his violence, because he was deemed psychologically unstable, mentally ill individual, but mentally ill to the degree that he wanted to kill child, literally, individual. And he couldn't cope with the fact that he was sitting next to the kid who was honorable who treated him like a king whenever he would come here for fishing. And he, an old veteran from the World War II, uh, he, uh, sitting next to me, truly when he saw himself in a mirror, he was a fucking nobody. This is the story about Boris Andrianich. After this, soon, uh, I don't know what year was it, it was not 1981, but sometimes, like in 1980, I don't know, 1984 or whatever they had at Kirka Pharmaceutical, uh, they even reduced his workload, 1985, I say. Uh, they, just, they just calmed him down. He turned complete mental patient. And they told him, all right, Boris Andrianich, it's okay. You can come here and do just two hours a day. It's fine. Just come here and see us. Uh, he was just uh, somebody who people are used to seeing around. Now, there is one thing about Boris Andrianich. Boris Andrianich, because I'm not here to distort anything or tell differently. Boris Andrianich uh, would go and from the budget of Kirka Pharmaceutical, the response of the cash flow and uh, matters that would go uh, through the Kirka Pharmaceutical. Uh, he at times would go and would pay the people money. Uh, this is what my mother stated. So this guy was a scammer. He didn't have to do this. In Yugoslavia, he didn't have to do this. So this is also I wonder about it. Uh, why would he fucking do this kind of stuff? that he would even go and pay out of his own salary. My fucking God, man. And uh, I never said in my life, my fucking God, by the way. He, he pulled the wallet out and out of his own salary, he paid workers. So the workers could have the money and they would not go broke. You didn't understand how fucking mentally ill this facts are how <laughs> there was an uh, impostor scammer garbager who presented himself as a society as beneficial as a solidarity as a human person i don't know what or nothing other than fucking scam after scam after scam 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 the motherfucker boris andrianich would stay at home if he could because he had his episodes when he insisted me, Bustian, this is how I got idea for Misho Andrianich. He was actually, Bustian, we're going to start our own company. We can start because I, as a child already, I, I, I couldn't handle this amount of torture. And I told him, listen, uh, is, well, why don't you open your own company? I mean, this is Kirka Pharmaceutical already to Boris Andrianich. Why don't we start our own company? And he said to me, Boris Andrianich, huh? this guy here, do you see this guy here? Talking about this guy here. This, this, this here, this, this here. He died on December 1993 uh, two years after Slovenia became independent. They must have fucked him up even more. He claims Slovenia will never be independent. And he got hammered even more. One more shot he got. I gave him one more. Uh, he... Hey, come on. They dedicated the entire fucking album to him and put him all over the internet. It would, It would be... It would be...
Well, this is the way I knew him. Yeah, this was a classic, his classic face. It was an MK Ultra funeral, all kinds of stuff that went on. Uh, well, I don't see here. I don't see here shit. There was some other stuff also that went on. Uh, it's one of the disgrace all over the place. This is a camera and today your watch is a karma. You can see some photos here. There you go. I told him, you know, what the fuck I told him, you know, he had a life of fable. He had a life of nothing other than enjoyment, do looks, literally. When compared to the workers, when compared to the people, his life was a fable. His life was one fable. Listen, I'm going to summarize this crap. Uh, he told me, not on one occasion, Boris Andrianovich told me, not on one occasion, but many occasions. I would, I would love to do this. The thing is that we already tried even this. It didn't work in Kirka Pharmaceutical. I am at least director of the Kirka Pharmaceutical. This is why. At home, I would have nothing. We tried to grow. We tried to have our company, but it did not work. We were completely ineffective. In fact, we started to stagnate down, go toward bankrupt at least three times. The real reason why he stayed in the Kirka Pharmaceutical is because he got the free Renault car 18 for himself they were giving him free cars they were giving him you know and it's a communism you get it for free you get it for free if you're part of elite if you depict yourself as a beneficial and you're talking about the cars here you're not talking about some garbage or something like that treated like a king like a slovenian king he did not pay him off to stay inside of his little pharmaceutical store uh, where he also got the opportunity, in other words, to steal. Pharmaceutical industry in Yugoslavia was extremely regulated. And this is where his perversion stepped in the head. And the big problem is that he was lazy like a motherfucker. This is a big problem. If you want to work in a metal working, which is much less regulated for obvious reasons, right? You have to work your ass. You have to get up and do your stuff and do it and do it and do it. And you have to compete. And you are valued for as much as you put, you invest in it. One thing I'm going to say, Chertelich was a hardworking individual, also a crook who uh, sooner than not saved himself from the hell of uh, practicing hammer and, uh, you know, stuff to cut through the metal and do the metal working and so on. But uh, this family, this family... I, none of these people I think was any good. This is why, this is why he did not open his own company, not he, not his son, not fucking nothing. They were riding the easy ride and the easy ride was a scammery from Slovenia all the way to India and from India all the way to Slovenia. This is the real truth about Boris Andrionic and Slovenia. Yeah. Vladimir Putin became Slovenian. He got my Slovenian citizenship. And I had it off to the United States of America, whichever fucking way I knew, to survive. To stay alive, not to survive. This was the cost and the price of the 1,500 years of slavery as Slovenians were. Till I came on the picture. This is this is the this is the damning. This is the curse I brought upon myself by doing this kind of stuff. This was the cost for the Slovenian liberation. Here is your schizo. Uh, 
nikje zdila Në rata kësim një ga neba Në rata këzele një korale Po do të si pila Krasnasi që planin Ti meni Ti meni Ja shtabi Ti meni, ja shtebe, krëshna si që planin, krëshna ja, krëshna, how many did Putin killed today?